Hi everyone, in this video we're going to cover the water quality types that you will encounter in the laboratory or that you will need to keep an eye on in terms of what kind of assay you are doing and they range from type 1 to type 3, type 1 being the purest and type 3 being the basic essential minimum requirement of water. So let's look at them in detail. In case you haven't zoomed in on it yet, there are several types of water purity needed for your experiments in the lab. The type of water you require depends on the technique and the level of interference that the technology or technique you're using can tolerate. The highest quality or cleanest type of water you can use is referred to as type 1 or it may also be referred to as ultra pure water. So this type of water is great for applications where even the tiniest amount or trace amounts can be detected. So if you're using techniques like mass spectrometry for protein analysis or metabolite profiling, which also uses a mass spectrometer, or if you're doing cell culture or molecular biology work like PCR, then the kind of water you're gonna need is to be of the highest quality, highest grade, and so ultra pure water is what you would need. This type of water, quality of water, is obtained through multiple purification technologies. The next type of water is what is referred to as a type 2 water type or elix water type. So this one is for general lab use where you're making media, you're making buffers, you're uh, making buffers, diluting it for ELISAs, Western blots, or for cell viability assays, you can get away with a type two water type. The type two water types are great for clinical analyzers because they reduce calcium buildup. And so the water is not going to gunk up your instruments. It's usually, yeah, so the type twos can be used to feed type one systems. So type 2 water systems are uh, purification on type 3 water systems and these are like your bare minimum basic entry quality of water that you need for the use in the laboratory, the type 3s. So let's look at how you achieve your type 3 purification. You will hear type 3 water referred to as arrow water. This stands for reverse osmosis water. They are used for non-critical work such as filling water baths, rinsing out beakers or feeding autoclaves. As mentioned, these are achieved by purification through reverse osmosis technology. They are typically your minimum water quality for labs and they can they are further purified to provide your type 2 and then type 2s are further purified to provide type 1 water for high sensitivity assays. So how do we characterize these water systems? What makes them type 1, type 2 or type 3? The parameters include the conductivity of the water, the resistivity of the water, the level of biological contamination of the water and the presence of colloids or particles in the water. The presence of organic compounds in the water is also further used to differentiate between your type 1, 2 and 3. So that was a quick wrap up of the types of water that are available for use in the laboratory. Depending on your application, you will need to be conscious of the type of water that you're using so that it doesn't interfere with the readout or the, re the results of the experiment. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next video. God bless.